What's up you guys, it's Brandon again. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Brandon. I do e-commerce, stocks, and all things making money, but mostly I do e-commerce, so let's get started. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to leave me a comment down in the comment section below, and let me know what you think of this video, or give me some ideas of what you guys want to know. All right, you guys, so I know in the past we've talked a lot about how much I've actually made on e-commerce and how much money I put into building my e-commerce stores and what kind of financial aspect personally on my e-commerce journey I've been through, but I've actually never talked about how I actually started my store and how I the steps I took to actually start my brand. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing that I highly recommend and I 110% suggest that you do is you build, you start a .com domain. So you go to godaddy.com and you find yourstore.com, yourstorename.com. Or you could do, if that one is taken and you can't find any other variations of it, you want to use yourstorename.co. Those are going to be your two best choices. Do not use .link, .net, .free, or whatever, .store. You want to use a .com or .co domain and that is going to be the name branding of your store. Also, you don't want it to be super long and you don't want it to have any hyphens, you don't want it to have any characters. You want it to be strictly your name of your brand or your store with no spaces. If you have to add something else like the at the beginning or like if say I was purchasing brandingansky.com and I was taken and I could take the brandingansky.com or I could build my branding around that, but you always want to keep it the branding like fresh in their mind and it's going to be like okay this is the store name this is probably the domain name or you could do .com same thing highly recommend it you can go to godaddy i'll put a link down below that you can go and you can get your domain name for like 4.99 for your first year and it's going to be gold the next thing i want you to do is after you get your domain name is go to g suite google g suite it's your google suite and basically what it is is you can take that domain name you can link it and then you can create a customized email around that domain. All right, so the next thing I want you to do after you get your domain name and your custom email set up is go on over to shopify.com and this is going to be where you're going to link your custom domain, your .com domain to your host. So Shopify is going to be your host. But not not only are they your host, they also have a back end and a complete e-commerce storefront that you can utilize to run your business. There are multi-million dollar companies that use Shopify. Shopify is, I think like I'm looking at it right now, it's trusted by over 1 million businesses worldwide. Like honestly, I've used Shopify for years now and it is literal gold when it comes to e-commerce and uh, digital sales. So you're gonna go on here and you're going to set up your profile and you're going to hook your .com domain to that um, to your Shopify store, and it's going to basically preload a like a temporary theme on the store front, and then your back end, you're going to be able to upload your products. You're going to be able to create your back end of your store with your pages, and then you're going to be able to also add what's called Shopify apps. And Shopify apps is where Shopify becomes super bold because you can use, they have an SEO optim, optimizer, they have, you can link your Facebook and Instagram ads directly, you have Google Shopping. Literally, it is the most user-friendly and simple way to do any sort of e-commerce sales by using Shopify.com. Also, once you get your Shopify done, your back end, go to themes.shopify.com and pick the most simple basic minimalistic theme or like you like the user uh, friendly theme that you think would be good for your specific store or your specific brand and add that to your store because it does not have to be something that is like the way the the perfect way that you want it but it needs to be the most minimalistic and easiest way to do it because next you're going to go to the Shopify app store and you're going to download this app called Shogun and by downloading Shogun, it's going to allow you to drag and drop your store and build your content blocks literally by dragging and dropping them and adding them to your store. 
by like your user, the most user friendly way possible. You really don't need to know any coding, any HTML, any liquid is what um, Shopify uses. You don't need to know any of that, but it's going to allow you to drag and drop it. It's a super, super, super helpful tool. You want your whole store to be completely customized and you can do this by going and getting your free theme from themes.shopify.com and a minimalistic one that you can manipulate into the way that you want it to look using the Shogun app's um, page builder. After that, if you are drop shipping, you need to find your products. And you can do this by a number of different ways. You can either go to alibaba.com and you can type in trending products, um, or you can go see to other trending products that people are selling on Facebook. Um, you can see whatever, the, if you see a Wish ad, the top thing that Wish is selling is probably a trending product on that ad. Um, there's a number of different ways that you can find a trending product in a high, um, a high profile product that is going to sell very, very well for you. Seasonal products, I mean, if you, right now, I don't know how, what the market is really, but like face masks were a huge thing back in March. People were making millions of dollars off of dropshipping face masks uh, during the Valentine's uh, season. I see a lot of people selling like these, those chrome roses um, or the, like the, what do they call it? The iridescent roses with like the unicorn roses or whatever they're called. I see a lot of people dropshipping those. Uh, you can drop ship um, Halloween costumes, Christmas decor, anything that is seasonally or any trending products, and you can build your store around this product. And that's if you're drop shipping. If you actually have your brand, you can obviously you're going to know what you're selling. You just don't know how to set up your store, and that's why you're here. And the next thing I want you to do, if you're drop shipping, I want you to talk to your supplier and I want you to ask if they can do custom packaging. Because this is going to be your key to success is having a custom packaging and a custom unboxing experience when it comes to your dropshipping or your e-commerce brand. If you are an e-commerce brand, you need to be able to have your boxes and your shipping items and all of your materials, your inserts and anything needs to be super, super professional and it needs to have a really cool unboxing feel. Like just think of how how good you feel when you open up a new iPhone and it like slides open really slow and you open it up and your iPhone is like like sitting there, right? So that is the same thing. It is going to add value to your brand. It is going to be able to give them user shareable content so people are going to put that stuff on social media and that's even if they only have 100 followers, there's 100 more eyes that saw that product unboxing and are going to be interested in looking up your brand and you could probably get one purchase or two purchases or maybe five whatever whatever it may be off of that one unboxing video so you need to talk to your supplier and ask them if they can do custom packaging and if they can't then you need to find another supplier overseas that can create your packaging and then have them send it to your drop shipping manufacturer or your drop shipper agent and have them package it up and ship it out that way with your custom inserts and your return labels here in the United States need to be a PO box. I highly don't recommend using your home because you don't know, you know, obviously there's some security issues with that. So packaging, set it up completely. I use a uh, print runner for my inserts and my, um, all my promotional like printed materials, business cards and stuff, super cheap. It's printrunner.com. And then also I use, um, I use an overseas agent to create my boxes and my packaging, but I know that there's a lot of other places here in the United States that you can uh, basically just like drag and drop your images onto um, pre-made boxes and then they will ship it to you. It is a little more expensive to have it done here, but it is a lot more expensive to have it shipped from overseas to the United States. So just weigh your options and figure out your best way to do it. Also, if you're looking to figure out where to find out where you can um, get boxes made over overseas or packaging made overseas, you can literally go to alibaba.com and then type in like boxes. You can send out an RFQ at the top right and just tell them exactly what you need and you will find, you can literally find any sort of manufacturer, any sort of product, any kind of product on alibaba.com and I, to this day, I still use Alibaba, but I use it more as a prospecting for uh, different factories. 
as opposed to just buying products or drop shipping products off of it because I do all of my stuff in house. I don't really drop ship anymore. I have moved on to holding my inventories and shipping from my facilities to um, my customers um, that way. All right, so now that we got our website, we have our domain, we have our website, and we have our products set up, and we have everything that we need to put together to have our store. So, you, what you need to do next is you need to go and you need to start uploading these products. You need to take product images. If you're holding your own uh, products, if you're holding your own inventory, you need to have your product images taken. You can take them on your iPhone, but they have to be professional looking and they have to be on a white background. And unless that's not your vibe of your theme, if your theme is like a wood background or whatever, but it all needs to be a seamless look. You can't have like, if you're selling t-shirts, you can't just take it with your iPhone, like while it's laying on the floor or take your picture of it on a hanger or something or like a mannequin. It needs to, your whole vibe and your whole branding needs to be seamless when it comes to your pictures as well. Because if you have clear white background images, it's going to make your brand feel more authentic and it's going to make your brand feel less dropshippy or less non-trustable. That's even a word. <laughs> but white image of, I mean white backgrounds if you're gonna have a white page white backgrounds it just makes it super seamless and it makes it look really 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 good and I prefer to buy things off of um, white background shops anyways I because otherwise it looks like an Etsy shop or a nothing against Etsy I know I always say that but it just feels like like a homemade um, type of deal and less um, authentic and less professional and that's what I'm trying to say so I highly highly recommend you getting your Product images taken on a white background. <laughs> if you're drop shipping though, you can have your overseas agent or your overseas manufacturer send you the images or you can use the images that they supply. A lot of times they'll even take images for you if you say, hey, I, can I get this done on a white background? They'll be more than happy to do that because you're buying their products and they know what's going on I and mean, they know that they're drop shipping for you. So it's just going to make more sense for them to please you because the more they can please you, the more return business they're going to have from you. And it just becomes a really good partnership. I have a really good partnership with an agent overseas that um, completely, if I need any sort of product or any manufacturer, she can find it within like two days, one day. She has everything under control for me overseas. And it's a, it's a really, I'm, I got super lucky being able to meet her through uh, drop shipping store I had back when. All right, so now you have your store all set up, completely built, and it is ready to go. So now how do you get people to your website? You need to be able to market on Facebook and Instagram. TikTok is also a good place to uh, market right now. I'm learning the algorithm and I'm learning how it um, actually, how you can advertise on that platform. But I highly recommend you start with a Facebook and Instagram ad account. Um, I recommend that you start a new Facebook page for yourself personally and then create a business manager account that way under your um, new Facebook page so it's not hooked to you personally and you can um, just have kind of a fresh start when it comes to your marketing online. So Facebook and Instagram do come hand in hand wherever you, you can choose where you show it, but I always show my ads wherever they're going to have the most conversions. So I let Facebook and Instagram figure out wherever they're showing it, it wherever it's getting the most conversions is where they're going to continue showing that ad um, on what platform. Um, I always start my budgets kind of small and then build up slowly. You don't want to overshock the system and then get banned or uh, have Facebook start limiting your ads. So start with like a $50 budget and um, I always say you should have a prospecting and a, re a remarketing campaign. With a prospecting campaign is super broad and it lets you build your pixel and by just people interacting with your ad and people purchasing and making conversions on your website and then that will also build a database of people who have started your uh, checkout or people who have been interested in your content online and then we have a remarketing campaign that will re-show this ad and get it fresh in their head because nine times out of ten they need to see the ad a couple times to be able to feel comfortable purchasing it and to also have it stick in their head that they that is something that they need to purchase and so a uh, prospecting and a remarketing campaign is going to be your easiest, most simple way to actually 
build your e-commerce uh, marketing and build your um, customer base that way. All right, so now you have your store and you have your marketing set up. So then just some other little tidbits that you need to add in there. Add some email marketing, I recommend Klaviyo. Uh, you need to add SMS marketing, I recommend SMS Bump. And then just all the little apps that you can find. I use Proof Source for the little pop-up at the bottom that says so-and-so in this city just purchased this item. And it kind of shows off of my customer data, it shows that um, people are actually converting and people are actually interested in purchasing off the website. Um, feel free to go through the Shopify apps and find the apps that best suit you. But don't be afraid to take your um, branding and your uh, dropshipping store kind of slow at first so that you get the hang of it. You don't need to go in this with the mindset that you're going to be making $10,000 next week because that's kind of unrealistic because you can't scale your ads that quick and it's just not a super realistic um, ambition. So I always recommend going in with thick skin because you're going to get burned, you're going to run into a lot of issues, you're going to fail a couple times, uh, your products might fail a couple times before you actually find a winning product. Um, even if you have a brand, your product might fail and you might have to just rethink it and come up with a different product under that branding. So don't give up and keep pushing forward and you will find success and you can build an e-commerce store that will convert and be super, super, super successful. I know it, but that's all I have. And I hope that you guys make lots and lots of money. <sighs> but thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Follow me on these social media tags. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.